hearty welcome father in our midst it's a honor to have you here since you started this school from 30 students to almost 3000 who was your inspiration to start this school and almost an impossible task uh i would just say that uh, the inspiration behind uh, my work here for that matter anywhere in chot nagpur uh, has been don bosco himself you see whenever we start something for example we started this province uh, i was very aware of the fact that we were starting with very limited possibilities uh, limited resource by way of people by way of fund uh, but i knew one thing this is how don bosco started he had actually no means he had no people he had no fund he had no land nothing and uh, he kept on trusting in god and trusting in our lady and went ahead and he believed that uh, he would build up because it was an assurance given to him by god and especially through our blessed mother so hanging on to them with that great trust he built on and uh, i have seen we all have seen that uh, he was a great dreamer and he built up a great organization uh, for the good of the world for the good of people and particularly for young people so as you said you followed don bosco he was your inspiration he was a great dreamer and so did you you dreamt you realized so how do you feel now coming here after so many years you were the first provincial that is a privilege to have you here so how do you feel now seeing this school uh, <clears throat> certainly there is a great joy in seeing so many things happening here uh, but you know actually it leads me to a, a sense of great humility because i i am fully aware that what has happened here was not because of my effort or because of the effort of the people around to me uh, basically it god who operates with us and uh, among us and i feel that it is he who has made this happen and uh, i have always followed uh, that very same way of thinking of don bosco that uh, everything comes from god everything comes from the instrumentality of our blessed mother so in that sense uh, i give uh, the thanks to the lord and to to our blessed mother for what has been achieved and the is the wonder is that you know they have made use of ordinary people like us uh, to do this and uh, i i feel i believe the way they operate in us they inspire us in the first place and give us confidence they give us courage and we go forward on the strength that they give to us so basically all that has happened here is actually the work of god and uh, the presence of our blessed mother in our life a true follower of don bosco of course that you are and a dreamer like him you dreamt then you visualized to have a school so now i would like to ask you what are your suggestions for this school uh my suggestion for this school is is quite simple it's actually what don bosco wanted his boys to become so when he formed his boys most of them were very ordinary boys street children uh, from poor uh, family background but uh, he told them all one thing that they could be builders they themselves could be architects of their own society of the church of the people their family and uh, he empowered them to do that and uh, actually my hope here in this school and uh, for all matter in the whole of chot nagpur is that uh, our own young people who attend our schools they become very socially conscious of the fact that they got to work for the development of their own people and uh, so not merely acquire an education get a degree but they must feel that they have got something to do uh, something to give to the society in the course of time so they must have that ambition so i would expect that a uh, school like this through our programs build a portal so that social consciousness in our young people that they once they go out of this uh, get their degrees or they are trained they will start working for the people in in turn so that they will develop our, our country our state our groups and this might be hope that uh, through a school like this a lot of social change will take place in jharkhand yes as you said that was the dream of don bosco to make the youth socially fit 
and morally upright. Now, seeing the difference in the generation, the youth and the children of course, then at your time when you started this school and now. So what do you think the difference in the guidance by the, children, by the parents, by the teachers, by the elders? What do you think? Is it very difficult or is it the same? What do you think on this? Um, uh, I would simply describe that present situation as a very challenging situation because our society has undergone uh, very rapid changes that has been brought about by uh, in this past I know 10, 15, 20 years society has totally changed uh, the arrival of uh, the internet the arrival of uh, mobile phones the arrival of the media uh, young people have become more and more you know losing uh, their contact with the society and they are getting kind of I would say addicted to these things today and that becomes uh, one of the biggest problems of today by which our young people can get disoriented uh, I am not saying that these things are bad these are very good things very healthy things if uh, they are made use of in a positive manner but uh, if uh, uh, they go into this in an uncontrolled manner uh, it's like any form of addiction uh, they will be affected and if they are not careful also their adulthood will be very different because of the fact they have been formed and shaped by by purely media and uh, uh, in that context i would say uh, one of the most important that we got to do today is to get our young people in touch with people around them for example in families with their parents with their grandparents with their siblings with the neighborhood uh, to keep a very healthy contact with them because they are losing that contact and they have become silent on lookers on what's happening in society today and this is a deformation of society and it can have great repercussions today for the future of our society so they need to, to develop within themselves this great capacity and an enjoyment in relating to people I would simply put this as a problem of relationship relationship a healthy relationship with the people around the human beings around if they do that one then they will grow up in a very beautiful manner and they will make use of the media in order to develop more and more this relationship in a healthy manner and that would be good for the society and so I would say in a school like this we should give a lot of importance to liberate our young people from getting addicted to any of this any any form of addiction and uh, get them more and more human uh, get them in touch with the people with the families with their friends in their neighborhood and that would be a very important aspect of our education today So what father says is a great idea, great thought to make the children more human with great morality. And that should be our ambition to guide ya, our youth. In conversation with Reverend Father K.K. Joseph, it was great talking to you, to have your, to listen to you, to your suggestions. And of course, you guided us in more ways than one. Thank you, Father. Thank you very much. Yeah. And uh, thank you, Lily, thank for being My here. Yeah, thank you.